everyone, it's VX Cadenzas, and today I'm going to be making new wings for my two brand new Tinkerbell and Periwinkle dolls. I actually got these as gifts from my friend Andre, and I'm really excited about them because I love Tinkerbell dolls. I, I absolutely love Disney fairies as a franchise. I loved the movies, I loved the series when I was a kid, like the little book series and stuff. Um, so I cannot have enough Tinkerbell dolls, and strangely I don't really find them secondhand very often. Um, so it's a really nice present, and I'm very excited to give them wings. Um, it's something I was never really able to do before. I would always just have to leave it all behind if she didn't have wings, so it's going to be satisfying to make them some new wings today. So another fun thing about this project is that I actually got this brand new, or it's not like brand new in terms of existing, but it's new to me, this material that is going to be absolutely perfect. It matches them perfectly, and it's going to look so delicate and pretty. This is actually made for like projects that you put on glass to look like fake glass etching well to look like real glass etching but it's vinyl so it's see-through it's really lightly colored this is going to be so pretty um so i'm excited to see how that turns out so yeah like brand new i do not actually like the wings that they came with brand new uh, i see what they were going for but when they do the color behind them i think they're trying to make it like how they glow in the movie but it just looks weird it looks uh cheap in my opinion. And obviously I don't own this picture. Um, some random eBay picture. Covering a huge, I'm covering a huge portion of this because I don't want people stealing my work, but these are my Tinkerbell wings all set up in my cutting devices applications, so I'm gonna send these to cut. While this cuts out, I'm going to explain this machine since a lot of people ask. This is basically a miniature vinyl cutter. So before this was a really highly specialized piece of equipment that costed a thousand plus dollars and people would use it to um, do those window stickers at businesses or bulk make shirts stuff like that um oh the stickers you see on cars but this brand Cricut and another brand Silhouette make these I think Brother does too but I only really trust Cricut and Silhouette right now I haven't had experience or known anybody with experience in the other two or in the other types but I'm sure there's off brands that work fine um they make personal versions that are very small. This one can cut up to one foot by two feet at a time, and it's basically just for smaller projects and at-home purposes. Here are the wings all cut out. Um, so periwinkles are here, and tanks are here. These are like a little bit more minty than I would prefer for Tinkerbell, but it's the best we can do, and I think it'll be better once it's just the like actual, that's what they look like see-through. Um, so I'm gonna get these transferred onto some plastic and then get them on the dolls. That's it for this project. So now I have a pair of wings pretty much identical to the way they would have come from the factory, except I got to make them my way. Um, I use this poster putty stuff to stick them to the back. I don't really feel like sewing Velcro in. I also don't like Velcro on doll clothes, or on doll wings specifically, because it'll pick at the outfit every time it comes off and it's just not very good for it. So I just prefer to use poster putty. It works fine. It comes right off doesn't really get messy at all um, and I was getting a little bit worried about the color of Tinkerbell's wings I thought they were a little bit too sea foam which has a lot of blue in it they were looking a little toothpastey but thankfully they look very subtly green in reality and here's Periwinkle's Periwinkle turned out much better I think Periwinkle is the superior doll um, Tinkerbell has these really huge um, irises and pupils for some reason so it makes her look a little bit weird next to Periwinkle but they're both really beautiful dolls. I think one of the biggest strengths of Jack Specific as a doll making company is that they do the best sculpts and face paint. Also they have the best face paint quality. I never see any kind of defects in face paint on Jack Specific dolls. It's crazy and I have a lot of Jack Specific dolls if you haven't noticed that. <laughs> um, yeah and they can do that cute little thing from the movie. We're sisters! Yay! Um, so that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think. I think I'm actually going to do a little bonus pair of wings for this video because I like for my videos to be at least eight minutes long because YouTube prefers videos that are at least eight minutes long. And I actually have another Tinkerbell doll in my midst from Secret of the Wings. Who needs wings? So let's make her some wings. <laughs> See you in a minute. Take a minute to highlight how pretty Rosetta dolls are. She's so gorgeous. 
I actually don't have any of the full-size Disney Store ones because I, I still am not clear if they actually exist. Like, I've seen one before in person. I should have bought her. But, yeah, so we're going to make her some wings. I actually have that same etching material in pink. Unfortunately, it got bent. Oh, because that means this whole piece is not going to be usable. Um, but it's fine. I have more than enough. So, yeah, let's go get my design of Rosetta's wings and make her some wings. Yay! Welcome back to another installment of Brooke Poorly Explains Something. So, last time I explained to you what this machine is, now I'm going to explain to you what it's actually doing. So, that little thing that's labeled B and is moving up and down, that is a... It's housing a knife, so it's transformable, so you can put whatever you want in there. The A slot is actually for pens, so that you can do, like, cards and stuff. I don't really know. I used it once to make uh, my own custom journal pages. I thought that would be interesting. But anyway, basically, it's just communicating with my computer. I sent it the information, and it is cutting out exactly what I told it to. I have never had it have an error. The only time I've ever had errors have been if my internet cuts out randomly or if it gets unplugged or something. It is extremely consistent. It can have trouble cutting out really thin lines, but I've adapted and overcame that because I've been doing this for a while. But yeah, this is really a game changer because I do not have a stable enough hand to actually cut delicately with an X-Acto knife. It's a lot. It's still really, really difficult to make these wings. Well, not the Tinkerbell ones, but my wing swings and stuff, but this makes it so much easier. This is what the wings look like now. I ripped off the background already, and basically I have to pick all of the um, negative space out. It takes a while, so I'm not going to record it, but I figured I'd show you. They're all done, so here's Tinkerbell again. And here's Rosetta. Hers are my favorite. I really like the way the pink looks on her. And hers um, turned out a little bit. They look bigger, but they're like the same size. They're just slightly longer because of Rosetta's design has longer wings than Tinkerbell's. But like for some reason, they just look so cute and long on her, even though they're like actually the same. Um, but yeah, here they all are. I'm really, really happy with them. I can't wait to make more wings for more of my Tinkerbell dolls. I have a lot that are missing wings. Like, I, I have a Vidya. I don't have, I don't even have a Fawn or a Iridessa doll. I mean, I have the Disney Store Fawn, but I don't have a single Iridessa and I don't have a Jack Specific Fawn. So I need to get a hold of those one of these days and I can make more matching wings. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know what you think of these. Um, really missed making Tinkerbell wings. I used to have so much fun doing it. I used to have an eBay store, but... It was too much for me, so I had to stop because they were really popular. I got so many orders. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.